It's Michael Siggins from Robotics Trends, and I'm here with Melanie from Robopolice. How are you? I'm really good, and you? Very good, thank you. Thanks for taking the time today. So, Robopolice is a distributor of different consumer and commercial products. Exactly. And so, tell us what kind of products you uh, you are distributing. Um, we distribute uh, this project, which is uh, Pleo. Uh, it's a dinosaur which uh, interact with you. Um, you have different kind of uh, sensor all around the, the animal and uh, he can feel uh, you, he recognize your voice, you can give him a name and you educate him. You, when you receive it, um, it's a baby and he go up to adult stage. Okay. Yes. And now this is uh, for consumers as well as education market? Exactly. Uh, essentially consumers, mm -hmm. this, this project, but our other projects, uh, for example, the Roomba from iRobot, uh, it's a vacu automatic vacuum cleaner, which is uh, for consumer as well. The, mark, the only project we have for the moment as a, as a creator, it's the Sparks, which is a robot uh, in uh, augmented uh, reality. Um, it's for consumer, general consumer, and for education as well. Okay. Yes. And you also have a products with uh, Windoro. Tell exactly. us about Windoro. Um, Windoro, it's a robot which uh, cleans the windows uh, for you. For the moment, it's at the stage of uh, in a more industrial. Um, it's for big uh, vitrine. I don't know if it's in English, it's an English word, but so uh, for big large, windows. Large applications, so yes. in a, in a, like a, a warehouse, exactly. office building. Exactly. And uh, in the next step, it will be uh, for a consumer, uh, individual consumer at home. Do you, uh, do you see the consumer market uh, with many of the products that you work with? Do they start with industrial application and then they move to consumer? Is that where many of them go that direction? Um, not all. Um, because we, uh, we take the product when they are already ad, uh, advanced. Um, so we have project for mass market and we have project for, uh, for industrial market. We have, a, we have a combined strategy. We don't have only, a cons on, only one or, or the other. Okay, that's okay? good. <laughs> when you look ahead, maybe five years in the future, what do you see the things changing? Is Plio still around or is there a different kind of product like this? Where do you think we're going to go from here? I think uh, Plio will still be here, but uh, in um, another way, maybe uh, uh, you will be able to, uh, to, to uh, take over the, uh, the software. For the moment, you don't have any, you cannot do it. Uh, it's how it is, you cannot uh, program it, but maybe in the future you will. Uh, but those projects uh, are the beginning of a big, big uh, series. Okay, great. Yes. All right, Melanie, thank you for your time today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck with Cleo. <laughs> thank you. Bye. <laughs>